Okay, um, here's another question too. Some persons be like, I pray and fast, but still struggle with addictions. Why is it so? Okay, there's something one of my friends used to say. He said, um, he used to say rather that the anointing breaks the yoke, yes. but discipline keeps it broken. Okay, so you will see some people they will you know go to a man of God and uh, the man of God will pray for them. Say, you see this thing you've been suffering, but you notice these same persons just within a short period of time they start complaining, they start feeling bad that oh this thing I thought this man of God prayed for me is an anointed man of God. Why is this happening to me? Why am I the only one? Such things. Okay, now here's a problem. You need to understand that addictions work on three levels. Man is not trinity, but man is trapped at in nature. So man is made up of a spirit, a soul, and a body. So man is a spirit that has a soul, and what? Has a physical suit called a body. Now, there's something called a stronghold. There's something called a stronghold. I don't want to really go deep into the spiritual aspect of it, but let me calm down now. Now, when you indulge in a behavior, it's not just your body, it's not just the physical aspect of yourself that becomes affected because you are made up of three components. Yeah. That is why you see some people, even after they become born again, so to speak, they still fall back to those vomits, to those addictions that they think they've overcome or they've, you know, have grown. So what's the problem? The problem is that you might be born again, but your soul still has something. Your um, body still, you know, has something. Why? I'll go according to a, a statement the scientists made. He said the, the, the body is made up of cells and these cells have neurons. Now, when you begin to do something, these neurons, they fire each other and then they create this kind of memory and they teach the body how to remember those actions. That's why you see someone, for example, that I will use this example, someone who masturbates, for example. You see that even after he has um, decided that he will not do this thing again, because the body can still remember those things. When I'm talking about the body, it could be your flesh, it could be your mind. Yeah, sorry, your brain, you understand? Can still remember these things, and the person tends to go back to these things. Now, when we come to the soul, the soul is made up of three components. The soul is made up of your emotion, it's made up of your will, and it's also made up of your mind. Okay? Now, the mind is what you think, your emotion is what you feel, and then your body. Um, sorry, your will is what you desire. So, what you think, what you feel, and what you desire. Now, coming back to that first question you asked me, if it can be caused by spirits. Yes, it can be caused by spirits, and I'm going to explain that now, as I'm also explaining this. Because the truth is that spirits can possess a person. And when we say spirits can possess a person, they can possess the strength components of a man. Do you understand? So yes. a spirit can possess the spirit, soul, and body of a man. But they all vary. So when a spirit possesses a man's spirit, it's called total possession. But I wouldn't use the word possess when I'm talking about other parts of the man or other components of the man. For example, I would say rather when a spirit occupies your mind, it is called mental oppression. So yes, even a demon can occupy your mind. Even the Holy Spirit works with your, your mind. So the body, the body of a man is made up of five senses. Do you understand? Your eyes, who they call the gateway. Do you understand? So these are the gateways. Do you understand? So the soul is also made up of three components. The mind, the emotion, and the will. Now a spirit can possess the mind, a spirit can possess your emotion, but a spirit cannot possess your will. It can't possess the will of a man. That is why even the Holy Spirit needs your permission, because you still have the will. And that's one thing God gave to a man, 
that even him cannot control. God will have to gain access into your own will. The same way, even demons, they can control your emotions, they can occupy your mind, but they can't occupy your will because the will is what you desire. For example, in John, the Bible talks about the madman and Gadara. You know, this man was possessed by a demon, but when he saw Jesus, he knew he needed help. That was his will. Do you understand? The Bible says he ran to Jesus. It was a demon cannot run to Jesus. The man was possessed, remember? Yes. But because his will cannot be possessed, when he saw help, he went for help. Okay? But the mind can be controlled, the emotions can be controlled. That's why the Bible is telling in Ephesians 4, I think 26, that do not let the sun go down upon your anger. Why? Demons, okay, they are disembodied spirits. Do you understand? And they have a lot of things they want to manifest. But because they don't have a physical body, they need a man. The same way the Holy Spirit needs a man. Okay? So in the Bible, you see in places like 1 Corinthians 6, the Bible tells you that your body is a temple of the living God. Why? Even the Holy Spirit needs a vessel to find expression. Because all spirits, they actually want to find expression. The same way demons also want to find expression through a man. So you have different spirits expressing different things. And that was why I said in the first instance that yes, Actually, those things can be also caused by spirits, and they can be caused by causes. But I don't want to dwell on that, so that some people don't say, ah, I'm caused, all these things are starting. No, the Bible says in Galatians 3.13 that Christ had redeemed you from the cause. You understand? But also remember that even though addictions, okay, even though addictions it, are not causes, they can be actually initiated. But I don't think addictions are in it. So nobody should tell me that I was born this way. I'm, I'm created this way. No, you're not born that way. You're created in the image and after the likeness of God. But even though addictions are not in it, just know that addictions can be initiated. So addictions are learned behavior. So you learn them. And there are mechanisms or stages that lead to these things, as we'll see later today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Okay.